Hey, what's the video? This is Marsh from Deputal and in this video I'm going to show you 6 custom rooms which are available for Samsung Galaxy G7 after Marshmallow update. No, I know that you have a question like I have already uploaded all the videos on my channel and if you don't know that I have provided all the links in the description of all the rooms available for the G7 and I'm making this video because I'm still getting questions like what is the best room for G7, what are the bugs, should I use this room or not. So in this video you can easily get to know and in just one place like what are the rooms which are still available for G7 like we have 6 to 7 rooms available for G7 after Marshmallow update and what are the pros and cons or so or the, which is the best room or should you use this room or not so in this video you will get to know all your questions will be cleared so you will be easily able to select which type of rom you should in your Samsung G7 so without any further ado let's get started so the first room we have Note 7 room and now we have the version 2 of this which is based on A5 2016 so we have some features of A5 ROM 2 so in this we have removed Nox, Photo Client, Diodex and it is fully zipper line and latest Super SVN you can also use Aroma installer just in version 1 and we have some features like Note 7 Edge Screen, Note 7 Boot Logo, Phone Contacts, in -call UI, S Browser, Clock, Calculator, My File Launcher so in overall all the Note 7 applications are included in this and some of the S5 and S7 uh, features like system UI, theme and we also have multi user feature we have S bike mode enabled in toggle so you can easily use toggle to, to add some of the features we also have floating messages so overall this is the best uh, if you want to make uh, or get an experience of raised UI so you can use Note 7 experience in terms of performance or battery we have all the features of S7 Edge, Note 7 and many others but still it has some bugs so talking about the version 1 bug we have bugs of lock screen, theme store but now we have version 2 so in version 2 we don't have that much of bugs only the bug is related to uh, like phone contacts will stop on search but the search in contacts are working fine and we can also have the version 3 is coming soon which will remove all of the bugs like vault related bugs and any other bugs which you can find so overall you can use note 7 as your daily driver but i cannot say if you want to use it for a vault purpose for contact purpose so it has some bugs related to that in overall in compared to performance of battery it has a very good battery backup of around more than one day and in contact performance uh, i'm getting around more than 40,000 in n22 and in game bench i'm getting a really good score so in overall I can recommend you to use Note 7 ROM as the best ROM for Samsung Galaxy G7 till now. S5 Neo version 3.1 from Samsung Galaxy G7. This is one of the fastest and the best ROM which you can use in your Samsung Galaxy G7 and it is based on version 2 prepared by HG developer and it is rooted busybox and all and it is also zipper line and diodex and fully rebooted it means you will get really a good performance while opening applications and it also has uh, in it D support we don't have any support in this uh, in any of the uh, ROM which is available and we also have raised UI plus some C5 application features and multi window feature with pop up view scroll capture S note remove and the gallery minus bug fixed and video app minor bugs also fixed uh, two iPhone ringtones is also added in this and if you want to use build or prop quicks you can also use like more responsive and it the disable the android logging stuffs for more speed and the smoother video streaming we also have better call settings gaming tweaks and much more so the things which does not work in the s5 version 3.1 is only the interval shot on front camera like no intentions to fix this as said by the developer and the palm swipe to capture these are the two bugs which is not uh, been fixed yet by these uh, developer and all as compared to performance battery and if you want to use it for daily driver i recommend you to use this because this is the second best ROM which i recommend you to use in your Samsung cg7 after a5 version 3. resurrection remix rom which is based on cm13 rom for samsung lc g7 and it has all the features which you can get in your cm13 rom and the bugs are also same like camera and the random reboots is still not working whenever you try to open camera it will stop responding and random reboots are also there so this is a very major problem so to remove this developers are really working so and the developers and me are also saying that you cannot use this ROM for your daily purpose because this also need dual boot 
so if you want to install you first have to dual boot your device and after that you have to install this rom so it will be a very major problem and installing a bug full rom it is really very annoying so i don't recommend you to use this as it has all the same major bugs with cm13 so if the cm13 bugs will be fixed you can also hope that reselection remix will also be a bugless rom developed by the xg developer cyanogen 13 for samsung galaxy j7 this is the best rom which i have ever seen for any android device but still as compared to samsung galaxy j7 it has some major bugs like camera and random reboots random reboots can be really fixed by just using the way clock manager from the play store but talking about the camera it cannot be fixed because the developers are saying that it is some issues related to some source code so they don't have the complete source code of samsung Galaxy g7 otherwise they will build a bugless rom for samsung Galaxy g7 and all the bugs like related to dual sim in or call audio media audio like otg and many other bugs has been fixed but still we have some major bugs which is related to camera and random reboots so i cannot say that you can use cm13 as your daily driver in your samsung Galaxy g7 but if you really want and we also have any problem like uh, you cannot install it without dual boot so i have uploaded also uploaded a video with which you can easily use name 13 without dual boot the links are in the description a5 rom prepared by early user xt developer so in version 1 we are getting some problems related to lock screen and like you cannot set your lock screen pattern pin or password but now we have version 2 which is fully stable and now you can easily as we know that in version 1 this is the only bug of related to lock screen and in version 2 we don't have any bug so you can say that this is the best rom which you can use in your samsung Galaxy g7 till now and it is a bugless rom which is still available for samsung Galaxy g7 if you compare with note rom s5 roms or any other roms which are available so in version 2 we have all apps which are a5 2016 stock apps audex for more speed and we, uh, the developer has enabled dual smart manager and better usage in quick panels better recent app protection enable app lock you can use voice recording to the calls and the uh, fixed lock screen and the mic box has been fixed and the uh, only bug is that uh, you cannot use front flash in camera but in version 3 we have the diodex rebloated and the front flash is fixed by uh, the regg developer and it is powered by optimax 4.0 by per one so you can easily get a performance boost in your a5 version 3 and guys uh, it is my daily driver so in version 3 it is uh, clearly said by developers that it is no it is a bugless rom so you can use if you want a bugless rom for Samsung Galaxy g7 as a5 version 3 stock optimized or you can say stock deploaded marshmallow rom for Samsung Galaxy g7 this is a rom which is totally based on Samsung Galaxy g7 stock rom but it is fully deploaded it means all the system apps which is are unnecessary has been removed by the developer and we have two versions of this version 1 with the, is having some bugs but in version 2 all the bugs has been removed and it is highly recommended by the developer and you can use it for daily purpose too so it is partially based between some of the uh, applications and features of note 7 and s7 s7 edge many other devices high-end devices which are using base technology are added in this and reply in message pop-up works great and we have scheduled message works great option DC problem has been fixed and wiper fixed is also reinstalled with some new icons and we have some grace applications installed like s voice s health samsung node grace wallpapers is also been added we have browser camera calculator clock my files calendar email everything is fully grace which is updated in version 2 you can easily download it from the link here in the description and we also have some major features like white boot animation and white boot logo so that's all with these features of stock optimized room and talking about the bugs of stock optimized room we have like alarm and adding to the world clock not working to fix this uh, they have provided a prompt by fix start zip file so after flashing you have to wipe cache to remove this problem and you also have alter data saving not working and it will be fixed in final version so you jo don't, don't just have to worry about that so in version 2 we are getting some bugs which is not some major so i recommend you to use this device uh, sorry rom for daily purpose so these are the six custom roms which you can use in a samsung Galaxy g7 after marshmallow bread i hope you really enjoyed this video and if you did a like will be appreciated and for more videos like this you can subscribe to my youtube channel by clicking on the subscribe button down below 
and if you have any queries you can also connect with me from the my facebook page or instagram or twitter i will reply as soon as possible on that as compared to youtube so that's all with this as always see you in the next video thank you